Anyway, welcome to this broadcast. I just wanted to tell you about following signs, you know, and I, if you're, hopefully you're as crazy as I am, but if you get, um, whether it's like a sequence of numbers that you like or a, an animal or you're thinking of someone and they call or something, something that gives you a hint uh, that is like a push or a, a thing to act, you know, to do something. I hope you're following them. And I wanted to tell you a story. I was driving down the highway um, about an hour because uh, I went to visit a friend and something told me to, to like turn around and exit on MacArthur Boulevard, which is a, a street where I used to live um, when I was with my ex and my son was a toddler and his first kindergarten was there. So I ended up going back to this road and instantly as I pull over, there's an 823. And if you guys know anything about me, 823 is like an angel number for me or it's a sign of, it's just a sequence of numbers that it just resonates with me. It means that I'm in alignment. So I pull over and there's a license plate. It's like 8234 or something like that. So I just keep driving and I end up driving by my old house and I teared up a little bit because there's so many memories there. There's a coffee shop where I literally built my business. And so I was just like, wow, how far you've come, blah, blah, blah. And suddenly I see there's a TJ Maxx and I needed a TJ Maxx to return something. And I had been looking for one and by me not looking for it, I found it because I needed to return something. So I end up going to into the CJ Maxx and I'm parked next to a car that's another A23. So there's all these little signs, right? All these little signs that I want you to add them up. I want you to pay attention and I want you to follow them to find out what's there for you. It doesn't mean you have to go on a shopping spree. It doesn't mean you have to invest a thousand or five thousand dollars on anything. It doesn't mean anything like that, but at least follow the signs and discern what's there for you because it, does, it doesn't always mean that it's right for you, but at least that the decision that you have to make, it's something you have to think through. So I go into the CJ Maxx and I, um, I see all this blue stuff that I ended up getting unapologetically. Um, I was like, yes, I need this. I need this and I'm going to own it. I'm not going to cheap out of myself today. Well, I meet this pregnant woman in line and I kid you not guys, I feel like she was me when I was about to give birth. And we ended up chatting for a little, there was a long line of like, I don't know, 40 people. It's like they were giving away something at TJ Maxx. And long story short, the woman I end up meeting in line while I was waiting to pay, it's like somebody that really, I feel like they really needed to hear what I said. And I basically told, she's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm about to give birth. I'm here. I don't have any family here. And it's been hard. And I said, I get it. And I get what it's like to not be excited about having a kid. And I get what it's like to do it. And, and when you feel like you have less support and you know when it wasn't planned and we just had a quick 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 chat and I feel like I don't know I just feel like we had a connection and then she tells me her daughter's birth date is 423 because they she's having a c-section so I'm like again another sign like 23 is my favorite number and she's having it on 423 and I'm like oh my gosh this is crazy then I go pay for the stuff and the t the total is three 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 two 333.32 on cashier and register number three, which I will post the picture in the comments because the guy looked at me, he's like, whoa, 333332 and cashier number three, he's like, it's the universe. And I'm like, yes, we recognized each other. And I was like, what do you think I wear blue? Because blue is the color of the infinite, right? So anyway, more signs. And I'm like looking for this woman because I feel like I want to tell her, hey, I'll come cook you. I don't know how to cook, but I'll bring you lunch, you know, or I'll just go and be with you or something because I just... I just felt really called to connect with her. Hey, Ella Day, you got 888 yesterday. I love it. I just felt really called to connect with her, you know, and I just, I don't know why guys, but I feel like I was thinking to myself, I was like, what is a cause? Like there's so many causes that I appreciate or that pull out my heartstrings, but the, the whole like helping women that are pregnant and that, um, oh, Talia says I'm a new follower and 332 is my number for my guides. Another sign right here. Another sign. Hi, Talia. We're meant to follow each other for sure. So, um, where was I going with this? So the title, the, okay. And then guys, I get in my car, I start driving. I couldn't find the woman to tell her, Hey, I'll g give you your number or take my number. Like, let me like, you know, the first 10, two weeks are so hard, you know, for a new mom and, um, and I couldn't find her and I, I prayed. I was like, if I'm meant to connect with her, I will. If not, I feel like I already told her something to make her feel good or better. So then the car in front of me is three, 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 three. 
and I was just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And anyway, I'm feeling like we all need to not ignore the signs, you know, and, and again, there was a, in February, I had an opportunity to invest $5,000 in an amazing project, an amazing opportunity that I still want to do. But I remember asking like, okay, universe, God, baby Jesus, Easter bunny, you know, the three wise men, whoever's listening out there, send me a sign. And I want to see a big fat. Yes. I want to see a big fat. Yes. That I met somewhere that is, I can't, I can't avoid it, it. That is in my face. I kid you not. A friend of mine posted, a, a sweater with her little um with her son in Amsterdam and his sweater said say yes I swear to you the sweater of the little kid the next morning after I asked for the sign said say yes and so I I had to sit with that and I remember talking to my boyfriend and he's like the camera you got the sign and is it say say yes to what is it say yes to the five thousand dollar investment or is it say yes to what and I ended up not doing it because it didn't feel like the right time so when I say follow the signs is not permission to go on a shopping spree it's not permission to like but it's just it's just like the universe is listening the universe is listening and it cares about your expansion. It cares that you don't stagnate. It cares that you trust. It cares that you have faith and it cares that you have experiences like what I just had.